Hey guys, this is the professor, and this is split wood fire number one. And the wood for today is hickory. So I'd like to show you all of my fire prep here. First of all, over here we have the thumb sized fuel, about the pencil sized, uh, kind of a middle kindling, and some really fine pieces here up to and uh, not quite as big as pencils. We got our hat full of shavings and our natural tinder here is some weed tops. Now this wouldn't light directly from a fire steel but it goes up fine if there's a little bit of flame to that. So what I've done then is use some of my natural charred tinder which I'm going to use to uh, catch the spark and then blow that into flame hopefully and make the whole chain go up. Now for my hat full of shavings I found here that the quick oat meal box full of shavings is about the same as a hat full so I can keep my hat on and when I fill this full I know that I've got that many shavings which is three times the prep. Also here I've got a three gallon water bucket and when that is full of uh, split pieces of wood standing on end and I know that I've got about three times the prep here as you can see. I don't think we'll even have a little more than that. I don't think we'll need anywhere near a third of that to make the uh, flames. So let's get this out of the way and set about making a, making a fire here. As you can see, here's my knee-high flames, and as you uh, scan back across, you can see how much wood I've got left here. So we'll have enough for several more fires. Once again, the idea is once you get that spark going, you do not want it to go out. You got to be sure that you have plenty of plenty of fuel. So three times the prep. This is the professor, and I'll see you on fire number two.